let me make a couple of them myself so let's say i'll insert insert a blank slide uh let me just go to the end so let me make there are quite a few nice ways of making this so let's say design format background let me make it a gray background insert shape actually i remember this design i had made earlier for something make it an orange one let's say the shape outline dash no sorry weightage 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 weight let me make it a little thicker one uh insert let's say text box uh let's say my presentation is about financials of a company so i have the income statement i have the balance sheet i have the cash flow statement and i have the uh ratio analysis so let's say i've got these four points to talk about now just see the design part the aesthetics actually becomes very important uh let's say i'll make it more bold let me make the color a little this sounds okay should i remove the bold let it be bold and let's say i'll put a bullet if you want and this is okay all right now control c 1 2 sorry <coughs> control z control z control sorry control c control v and it needs to be in the source formatting control y control c v source formatting source formatting So I've copy pasted the same slide four times. Now in the first slide, I'll go highlight income statement. Make this. I am not sure. See, it it's very important that I choose the correct shade of orange. All right, so you cannot mix around the shades and all these things. So please be be very sure that you're not uh, you know uh, incorrectly choosing. I cannot just randomly choose any shade of orange over here. It'll look pretty bad. It's important. You can use an eye dropper. and you can just pick the exact shade now if i don't like this shade you know what i can do is i can go to more colors and then i can just make it relatively more lighter or darker at least it's on the same shade it's important you know these are this is what is known as design aesthetics so when you're giving a presentation irrespective of whether you are a you are not a design guy i mean i'm guessing that you're more of a either an hr or a marketing or a finance or an accounting you have some of these business or commerce backgrounds so whoever it is whatever designation it is you have to give presentation and the design part actually matters a lot so now let's say i'll make the size also a bit bigger and this now all i need to do is sorry it's like looking a little too light so okay let me stick to this and now what i'm going to do is maybe the design is not that great control shift c format copy Oh, I made a mistake. ठीक है, just a second. Control Shift V, format paste. Control Shift V, format paste. Control Shift V, format paste. And I by mistake have got these two highlighted. So copy this format and paste this format. So now what happens is this is going to be my first slide. Then there will be a few slides on the income. Then I'll have move to the next slide. Then I'll have a few slides on balance sheet. Then I'll move to the next slide. Then I'll have a few slides on cash flow. Then I'll move to this slide, and then I'll have a few statements, few slides on ratios. So it gives you very clear demarcation that okay, my presentation is going to revolve around these four topics, these four broad areas, and this is how I'm going to move forward. And this is where we are. So right now we are in the third segment. Right now we are in the second segment. So these are four broad areas of my. presentation there are other ways also let's say uh, let me just insert a blank slide insert a smart art and let's say it's a list i would rather take one just a second there was another one i use just one second huh? okay let me take this or let's say this or something So you can use a smart art of this sort. Or rather, I'll take this. Then, let's say I'll copy this data. Actually,
I'll just switch off the sound. Everyone over here. Now, what I'm going to do over here is this, this, this. Or design tab. You can choose this option. We can select all the shapes. Copy paste this. I know there could be much better formatting. And this one. I know the design can be much better and as you move to the next slides, then this slide, this, this box will become the dark grey one with a blue text and you can just move on. And also, if you look at the smart art, there are multiple design options. Some of them have the option of image also. You know, you can insert four images. Let me show you one more option over here. <clears throat> I'm telling you what I'm doing. Just give me a minute. Let's say something of this sort. And then what we are going to do is we are going to format these images as black and white. And only one will be color. And as you move to the next slide, this becomes bold, this becomes color. So you can change it accordingly. So you know it just has a very more has a much more impactful effect because when you're looking when you're when you're when you're giving a presentation you need to make sure that the audience's attention is grabbed. So the audience is only going to be looking at this right now and not the not at the giving a presentation. You need to make sure that the audience's attention is grabbed. So the audience is only going to be looking at this right now and not the not at the other three. So there are a lot of of course you can have much better formatting, much better designing, much better smart art, more relevant images and all that. So you'll have to experiment. See, design will take a lot of patience, lot of time. And in order to build, you know, a very good level of designing and all, my recommendation would be try to go through very good reports online. See, what you need to do is you can just simply Google up, uh, let's say a PwC or an Ernst & Young report on this uh, on pharma industry, Ernst & Young report on XYZ industry. And you will see that old reports, older versions of a lot of reports will be available online. So look at their PDFs, look at their presentations, go through them, see the kind of, you know, the very, very minute things they do in order to make their designs better. Small, uh, you know, just a little, um, a, a little straight line over here can make an impact. You know, that could, I know it's not come out very well, but in places, you know, a very small straight line over here and over here, even that could make the image look much better. The very small things that, that adds on to the design. So work on this. So this home slide approach you can use in multiple ways, not only to give an outline of this part, but say for example, if even in a slide I'm discussing four topics, if say for example in a slide I'm discussing this smart art, suppose I'm talking about four points, so I'm talking about let's say four ratios, net profit ratio, gross profit ratio, this and this. Even within the slide, like instead of using it as an outline, I can just copy paste it four times and I can explain this part. Then in the next slide, I'm explaining this. In the third slide, I'm explaining this. So when you're giving an effective pre effective presentation matters a lot. So you can use this trick into mul in multiple ways, not only for the outline of the slide, but also when you want to emphasize on points where in one slide, you want to talk about four different things. So, you know, the first thing is this second slide, you'll have this one colored, third slide you'll have this one colored, fourth slide you'll have this one colored. So you can explain things in that way.